Hello, uh, this is Mark Berkman with Ozen Engineering and uh, this is another edition of our uh, engineering videos. Uh, this one uh, is particularly uh, on um, ANSYS ice pack and AEDT ice pack uh, where I'm going to uh, look into a problem uh, in which maybe uh, we have this uh, vehicle that kind of looks like a bullet, uh, you know, that's the skin there's some electronics inside that's generating heat and then uh, we have some sort of a heat pipe you know that will take this heat and uh, conduct it away so you know that's the idea we want to make a model of it uh, the interesting part about this problem is we have two separate air domains one is uh, you know uh, as our vehicle is traveling through air it's the external flow right uh, outside our object the other is this internal flow uh, within the cavity or on the inside of our vehicle where uh, you know we have the heat load that needs to be uh, conducted away uh, so uh, in order to do this in ice pack uh, you know uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm not gonna even define uh, fluid blocks I'm just gonna, you know, use this and take advantage of uh, some of the ice pack capabilities without, you know, sealing the domain, etc. So, uh, you know, let's say we have our CAD, you know, it's pretty clean. Uh, then, you know, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the go to ice pack we want to convert these objects into ice pack objects this is particularly for classic ice pack for ADT ice pack uh, we really don't have to do anything we can just directly import this CAD model uh, in, in any format into ADT ice pack okay so let, let's start you know using ice pack simplify function uh, so here, you know, the skin is a complex object, uh, but, you know, like our heat sources, we can do a polygon fit. So we can go ahead, click on it. It's color changed, so it's done. And again, you know, the heat pipe, it's simple pipe. So that's also level two will work. So that also changed, but our skin, as you can see, is a more complex geometry, so we're gonna select CAD object maybe okay have like the good quality top best quality click on it and as you can see you know the tessellation is pretty fine so that looks very nice what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this as as a a discovery file called model now just hit set right so so it's just saved and then uh, you know we can start uh, working on the classic model so I'm gonna just uh, you know move on to workbench now so now workbench is open I'm gonna go ahead under component systems add this geometry and I'm just gonna say hey import geometry and uh, let's browse make sure we get the right model and then we're gonna go pick this one make a copy of it then next step is you know adding an ice pack model so now, you know, we see our ice pack. If we double click on setup, it's going to uh, call classic ice pack. All right, so we're in classic ice pack and uh, we see an automatically an enclosure has been added around our object, uh, but I'm not happy with the enclosure side because we're gonna solve external flow around the skin. So I wanna increase the sizing. So I go to cabinet or rather even I can just stay here and I want to you know add some distance here and also add maybe like you know 10 millimeters all around our object so if I hit enter now 
what we see is you know that there's enough airspace created around our object to predict the, accurately the external flow right okay so that's good uh, next step what we want to do is uh, all define the, our boundary conditions and uh, th this is uh, where uh, we're taking advantage of uh, ice pack so here you know even though we defined one enclosure and we talked about you know resolving the external flow around our object uh, so you know this way we got our external volume but not only that actually with these settings if we select outlet on, on this back face for external flow because of the thickness of the skin automatically the mesh will be split into internal and external parts so there'll be two separate uh, fluid blocks and actually this the surface that lies uh, you know in that x min plane it automatically becomes a wall so uh, you know therefore the, here the advantages without de defining a CAD model for the air domain for the internal or the external with one shot with a simple cabinet we're essentially defining both of the air volumes without any effort so let's go to our cabinet now you know we define our geometry we go to our properties so at min x right we want to have an opening where we, it's actually an inlet if i go there i want to define an x velocity of maybe 10 meters per second right update done and then at max x this is going to be again an opening but it's going to be pressure outlet so we don't have to touch anything and what's even better is uh, this internal surface will, will become a wall not, not an outlet and let's assume you know for example uh, for this vehicle you know if we look at it this way may, maybe this is a car you know so uh, min y for example is our is a wall the other side so we'll just do this air opening max y let's call it a wall so it's our ground and z directions are openings right okay so we can hit update and done this pretty much you know that defines our domain let's go ahead and generate a mesh here what i'm going to do is i'm just going to use the macros i'm going to go to productivity I'm just going to use automatic cut cell meshing. A lot of times I just try the first option. I'm just going to select medium and then hit accept. So this is essentially going to go start generating a mesh. And typically, you know, we get a good mesh quality. If this does not work, we're going to use the second option. So very quickly, around 220,000 cells have been defined. Let's typically you know let's do a cut plane check so let's see if the skin is resolved properly if we have the two separate fluid zones so we can make sure okay see we see some okay decent resolution there so let me do solids only and as you can see the skin is solid and you know it's resolved with a single cell which is not ideal but that's fine if we switch to fluids only you can see two totally separate fluid domains and you know this was done without defining any enclosure or any fluid domains any fluid shape so that is actually what i wanted to demonstrate uh, for classic ice pack in, in this tutorial next step uh, we're going to look into how to do this same Thing in ADT ice pack so in our ADT ice pack session let's go import our model all right so let's see as you can see automatically an air domain is placed around the object uh, with some padding around uh, unlike unlike classic ice pack you know ADT by default put some padding so that 
also save me another step of you know resizing our enclosure right but uh, what I need to do is uh, to be able to use this face as a wall the Z direction you know I would need to pull back uh, to where the skin is so to do that I'm gonna go double click on create region and uh, these are the paddings so I want to make the padding uh, in the plus x direction zero right so plus x padding should be zero I'm just gonna hit OK and you can see now it's aligned uh, with that face okay excellent so again you know we're gonna define our boundary conditions and look at our mesh so here what I want to do is I'm gonna hit F I'm gonna select this face this is going to be my inlet so I'm going to assign an opening free with a velocity 3 meters per second in the x direction. And then, you know, I can assign these four faces as openings free and just pressure boundaries. And then this bottom face, you know, we want it to be a wall. And so we're gonna do just a stationary wall. With, you know, and that's it. So where we kinda, you know, set up our model. Next step is let's generate our mesh. So we go to simulation. We're gonna do global mesh settings. And I'm just gonna start typically with the level three and let's see what we get you know it's one click meshing then you know af after saving the file so now you know it started working on the mesh and it came back with some errors right what I had forgotten was to assign materials uh, so what I'm going to do is for these you know for to be quick I'm just going to assign them you know aluminum later you know we can ch change those you know as needed so the goal is to quickly get a mesh again hit the generate mesh and it started working and it was done very quickly uh, so we have 39,000 cells what I would like to do is I want to hide these guys View, hide in active view so we can zoom into our domain and again as you can see our solids are in different color than air air is our reddish color and we have two separate domains uh, for the air and this uh, concludes my presentation thank you for your attention have a good day